Has it been difficult doing that? Because obviously you've been training at the Vale and then coming back here on a couple of occasions as well. Yeah, it's you know it, it, it's been um, quite a difficult month because we've yeah. had to um, you know pick up calls, new calls, yeah. <laughs> almost twice a week sometimes. So um, yeah, yeah, you know it's uh, it's been frustrating at times. But then mm. you know you can't complain because that's where you want to be. And yeah. Um, yeah, you know I suppose you're only one injury or one opportunity yeah. away. So um, you know you just yeah. gotta keep on uh, keep on cracking on if you're chance does come then yeah. um you know if you can take it but you know the worst case scenario was us coming back here and, and playing for the scarlets which uh, which yeah. isn't a bad thing at no, all so no at all. and then as as the scarlets you've had a decent six nations period i suppose apart from last weekend <coughs> you? yeah, yeah you, these periods are usually yeah. quite important you know you can see yeah. the teams have got um you know the elsters have got you know quite a strong foreign yeah. input so um these times yeah. of years you know when you really um shoot up the table or yeah. or you know shoot down the table so uh yeah yeah they've had a, quite a good run um, yeah. and fought well you know disappointed the last weekend yeah but uh, we got a chance to put it right against glasgow this weekend so yeah and you're giving yourself many more opportunities and sorry much room for error really for the rest of the season now yeah you know as long as uh, as long as there's a chance that we can qualify we're going to go yeah. um full tilt for it and yeah. um you know, you can see with the with the we've trained today and with the back line we can put up now yeah. is, you know, is, you know the, the, pot- the potential as in it yeah. is unbelievable and and it's nice that the forwards are, are going well as well. So um, yeah. the games we used to lose up front, you know, yeah. we could we've got parity there now and um, yeah, and hopefully you know the backs can uh, yeah show everyone what they can do. Yeah, I suppose when you have people like John Rees, Liam in the form he's in as well coming yeah. back into that back division. To, yeah, I know. Fire power there, isn't it? And you know, there's a lot of boys playing well anyway in yeah. that back line. So t- yeah. just to top that up, you know, it's yeah. boys can score from anywhere. So it's quite a frightening back line, and um, yeah. it's nice, uh, you know, it's nice playing in the forwards when you've yeah. got a back line like that, knowing that uh, yeah. you know if you get good ball for them, they're gonna they're gonna cause damage. Yeah, I mean Glasgow obviously one of your rivals as well for that top four place. So yeah, you know, over them as well. <clears throat> they've gone well the last few years, and. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a tough place to go, and uh, you know they're similar with a lot of boys coming back in their pack. So uh, yeah. it'll be uh, it'll be a challenge up front. It yeah. always is against Glasgow, but um, yeah, uh, we're we're looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, I suppose then you and Ken as well battling out again at Hooker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know it's uh, it's never ending. So yeah. um, you know Kirby's done well as yeah. well when uh, we've been away. So um, yeah, yeah, you know it's it's you'd rather it be like that to be honest because if you ever get in the comfort zone you, you yeah. know you just start um easing yeah. off so um just, you know you can't you can't fault the rivalry no. both both are going well so yeah. just hoping that if you can play well for the region you can get more opportunities elsewhere then and obviously there's a summer tour to back it for as well i suppose isn't it? yeah you know it's um it's quite a big one yeah. um south africa is a difficult place to go so yeah. um I'd love to get on that trip, but uh, yeah. firmly yeah. Uh, concentrating on the rest of the year now, and yeah. hopefully trying to trying to put pressure on making them playoffs. Yeah, because if you do get a win this weekend, looking at the run, then it gives you opportunities, doesn't it? Yeah, you know we we've targeted these last say nine ten games really, and you know yeah. we've we've won a few of them, and yeah. unfortunately took a bit of a, a knock on the weekend, but um, no, yeah, yeah. We're, we're confident if we can um, if we can get a w- result this weekend and. Uh, you know, we can push on, um, yeah. on our running. Yeah, and of course they'll be welcoming Scotland boys back. I suppose after last weekend, uh, yeah, they'll probably want to get one over over a lot yeah, of the boys. Yeah, I know it's uh, it, like I said, it's a difficult place to yeah. go, and but it's, it's it's almost quite refreshing. You see the boys have come back today, yeah. and I, I know they've had a tough campaign, but uh, yeah, when you come back, it's you know this is where you are, this is where your bread and butter is. So the boys have all come back as a yeah. bit of a buzz around you. So um, we're really yeah. looking forward to going up there on the weekend now. Is the, in, is the intensity of the Six Nations is it, it is a, you know it's almost like is it like a bubble at times um, with the training and everything? Yeah, it is. You know, you you can see how intense the games are and just how yeah. much uh, how much pressure the boys are on. Mm. You know how much pressure they put on each other in training and yeah. you know the media. Obviously, you know it's it, yeah. it's such a big tournament, but um, you can see when the boys have come back today. You know the intensity of training has gone up a level. Uh, yeah. you know, boys in the gym are working hard and yeah. and they they seem to have brought that uh, intensity back with them.